audio running. There's the peaks and the valleys. Happy Friday, everyone. It's Michael Fisher with Pocket Now here with a recap of everything that's happened on the editorial and feature side of PocketNow.com in the past week. And because the Pocket Now Daily is on temporary hiatus while Jaime Rivera is in Barcelona, we'll cover a few news items as well. It's been a busy week leading up to MWC 2014, so let's get to it. This is the Pocket Now Roundup. Kicking off the week bright and early at 7 a.m. on Monday was Joe Levi with a piece on why the much ballyhooed notion of an HTC made tablet might not be the panacea for the company's wounds that others might think it is. And hot on the heels of that editorial came a flood of HTC leaks that stretched across the week, starting with in hand shots of a gold colored device and eventually progressing into renders, all but confirming the unique look of what we're told will be called the all new HTC One. There's plenty of time for more conjecture on this, as we won't see an official launch event until March 25th, so click the HTC tag down below to join in the fun, and be sure to swing by our story on HTC's new warranty program for buyers of One Series handsets called HTC Advantage, which the accident-prone should appreciate. Also, if you've ever broken a phone, come commiserate with your comrades in clumsiness. Taylor Martin has a poll for you to take, after which you can add your horror story to the comments. Speaking of Taylor Martin, our North Carolina-based senior editor finally took delivery on Nokia's Lumia Icon this week. You've probably seen his rather epic unboxing, or if you will, uncasing, here on YouTube, and we've since seen a couple comparisons, with a full review coming quite soon. While you wait, Adam Dowd has a think piece on just why one of the biggest rumors of the week, Android apps running on Windows Phone, is a bad idea. Calling the proposed solution a possible short-term gain but ultimately a long-term loss for the platform. Speaking of Android and Windows Phone, the Nokia X, the erstwhile Nokia Normandy, is almost certainly making its debut at MWC, if you believe the big green X in its event invitation, but the story doesn't stop there. Rumors of the Android-powered Nokia phone's apparent low price point have incensed Joe Levi, who employs a lot of exclamation points in his recent editorial to explain why this is not a good idea. Add in his appearance on this week's Pocket Now Weekly podcast and his two video tutorials on printing documents from your phone and Google's new voice interface enhancements, and our Android guy might win the award for most prolific editor of the week. But that doesn't mean the rest of us weren't having any fun. Can you guess which smartphone took these photos? If you can, congratulations. You've got a sharper eye than 96% of commenters in our second monthly smartphone guessing game published on Monday. The answer is already posted, but if you scroll carefully, you should be able to examine the evidence and make your own guess without getting spoiled. And judging from the success rate in the comments, we're happy to say you should prepare to be surprised. That's not because the commenters are dumb, but because smartphone camera quality isn't quite as easy to discern at a glance as one might think. Stay tuned for more from this series as time goes on. And to round out the last week of pre-MWC editorials, I contributed a brief piece on why we'd like to see more Sony smartphones this year, and also one bemoaning the lack of saltwater-resistant devices on this blue planet of ours, while Joe Levi couldn't quite put the pen down, and he kicked out one last piece, this time on LG and its G2 Mini. Weak sauce or awesome possum? Joe seems to think it's the latter, which gives him the status of contrarian of the week, but there's an important qualifier, too. Click on over to his piece to find out what it is. And finally, be sure to check out Stephen Shank's pre-MWC roundup of everything we're expecting Jaime and Anton to report on from Barcelona. From the Huawei leaks that just broke cover today, to the products teased in Nokia's and Samsung's MWC trailers. Adam Lane and I will be covering the Samsung Unpacked event from New York City, while Jaime and Anton cover it from Barcelona, so stay tuned for that. But there is much more mobile news happening both before and after the Galaxy S5 announcement in the run-up to the world's largest mobile technology trade show. Keep it locked to PocketNow's MWC Hub so you stay on top of all that. Be sure and follow us on social media and in the links at the description below. And there's also a like button down there. Please click it if you did enjoy this video. Until next time, this has been Michael Fisher with the Pocket Now Roundup. Thank you for watching and enjoy your weekend, no matter what mobile device you carry. <laughs>